What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Now you will notice that this is a first video for a quite a while. I've had a few issues but I'll bring that up in the next video coming up in the next couple of days or so. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. But right now we're here to talk about the Huawei P30 Pro and just how good it really is. You may notice that I don't have a device in hand. I did have, but that's what we're gonna get into today and to why the phone isn't actually here right now. Let's start off with just how good this phone really is. Now, going back many, many years, I had the Huawei P9 and that phone was absolutely incredible. The Leica lenses, again, just literally blew you away. On a device for that price when it came out, around that time was outstanding and the p30 pro is no different the lens system on that phone is unbelievable spoiler alert moving on though what made me buy one was the fact that obviously other youtubers went out and got to go to paris and check the phone out for themselves so i went out and i got one on contract on an upgrade and then i went to orlando i picked the phone up on the monday and on the Saturday I flew out to Orlando, so I had a bit of time with the device, I unboxed it. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the card above for you to check out. Even using the device, and EMUI I'm not a big fan of, but we'll get into the EMUI a little tiny bit later on in the video. It was such a good device, even in the hand, it felt good in the hand, I had the silicone case on it. It felt just nice and comfortable, everything was reachable, it was really really good. Moving on to battery life. Now, battery life on the Huawei P30 is nothing short of amazing. I'll run you through a brief day in Orlando of where I went and what happened with the device. I started at 8am in the morning, took it off charge. I went over to Universal Studios to do all my Universal stuff. From Universal, I headed over back to the hotel. Didn't have to put the phone on charge, it was still around 75%. And that was using Waze, the camera, and of course some social media apps like Twitter etc to post. So after doing all that, yeah I still had 75% left. We went about the day and we actually headed to Epcot. On our way to Epcot again, we used Waze. It didn't use that much battery life. And then basically all throughout the afternoon I was using the phone. I was taking pictures with the phone. I was also in the middle of doing another video with the Osmo Pocket, so I had the Osmo Pocket attached to it, filming some, obviously, gimbal shots. It didn't really tend to use that much battery life. I think I remember getting home from that day around 9pm, so from 8am in the morning to 9pm at night, doing what I do and how much of a heavy user I am. I maybe got home with around 10-15% to 15 still left on the phone. And then we actually went out for tea and I also managed just to keep the phone on me. Obviously I was replying to tweets etc. It was so so good. I mean I don't think Huawei could improve that much on the battery. Obviously the, the, the gun who in years to come obviously after this other stuff carries on. Um, and Huawei is still going to make devices. I can see them improving battery life greatly but I don't feel like they need to. The, the device itself was so good on battery life. Now, obviously moving on to design and the colour schemes. The colours are just unbelievable. I ended up with just the black. In certain lights it looked chrome, certain lights it looked grey. In darker lights it looked a nice deep black. But then, obviously it was looking at the other colours. I was kind of regretful that I didn't go for the breathing crystal or the Aurora, I mean I wasn't too a big fan of the red colour but it's still there if you wanted it but me, the black was just nice and then obviously if you move around to the back of the phone where that colour scheme is you've got that camera hump I mean that camera, nowhere to rely is probably not going to be beaten this year but that camera hump it wasn't that big, obviously if you didn't have a case on it, it would be a little tiny bit bigger, it would drop on a table. I always had a case on it, so to me it didn't intrude, it didn't do anything that I didn't want it to do. You couldn't really feel it with the silicone case 
I had on the device. Again, we go back to EMUI, what we were talking about earlier on in the video, EMUI. Now, I'm not a big fan of EMUI, I'm just not. I wasn't really a big fan of Samsung's TouchWiz neither. This year, One UI was unbelievable. EMUI seemed a little bit toned down compared to the normal Huawei devices that I've had in the past. It didn't feel laggy, it felt super smooth. I was able to go about my day like a normal, like, like a normal bull with my iPhone. That's how I can describe it, it was just like having my iPhone with me. So obviously I left that at home and just took the Huawei because I wanted to break away and see if I could live with another device besides my iPhone. If you didn't know, I am an Apple fanboy, there's no two ways about it. I've even sold my XS Max to wait for the 11 now and I'm out of sorts completely. <laughs> if we work onto the back now, obviously what we've just been talking about before, EMUI, we talk about the camera. Now that camera is something special. The I tested it out in many different locations just to see whether it was maybe where I was, how I was holding the device, if it was on a tripod, you know, all the different scenarios and in every single scenario, no matter what I did, it was the same picture, it looked amazing. No two ways about it. That wide angle camera is something else. When we were up on top of Adventura Resorts and you were looking out from the 17th floor over to Universal, that camera was insane. The wide angle from up there captured in Sapphire Falls, Cabana Bay, Volcano Bay, the parks, city walks, everything looked impressive as hell. Over the city walks, we went for something to eat and as we walked out, I said to my wife, there's something on the phone that you need to check out. And she was like, well, what is it? So I showed her how we can take a picture of the moon. And then what I didn't realise was, while I was obviously getting it to focus on the moon, my wife said to me, you may want to obviously stop doing what you're doing because she gets a bit embarrassed over stuff. And then um, as, as I turned around, I had six people gathered around me watching what was going on on the Huawei device. And they were just literally like, wow. Like they just couldn't believe what was going on with that device. They even asked me how it done it. I said, it's just its party piece. It's what it does. As we were walking away, my wife said to me, literally tell me how it done that. And I went, to be honest with you, it's a bit of a gimmick, it's a bit of a, uh, a feature. I said, it doesn't really get the moon, it just kind of superimposes the picture over it once it detects the fact that it's the moon. Actually, but look at the shadow, and, and if you look at the shadows of the moon, and look at the shadow of the actual moon picture, the shadows were all aligned. And then even my mind was blown, I was like, I don't get how they've done that, that's just incredible. Okay, I'm moving on to its other gimmicky feature, that 50 times zoom. Now I did test this out across the, the, the range on the bottom of the camera. I tested it at its wide angle, I tested it at its normal, tested it at its first zoom in and then I zoomed it in completely 50 times all the way. And even there's one other picture that blew me away. So I was quite a fair bit away and I had the Islands of Adventure Tower behind the trees, behind the big bridge when you're walking through from the resort walkway and I decided I wonder if it can get close enough to get me inside that island of Adventure Tower to see what's actually above the tower. I put it to the test and this is what it came up with. From God knows how far away it was, I was super far away, that 50 times zoom, straight up, pinpointed it out and it looks super razor sharp. Even when zooming in on a device, it's still retaining that crispness and I don't know how they've done it, but Huawei have absolutely changed the game i can't see anyone else doing that this year the 4k video i have actually filmed a video cinematic style with the huawei p30 pro if you haven't seen that i'll leave it linked on the card at the end for you to check out with the dodge durango gt which is the, the higher car i had for the last four days of the holiday but if you go and check that out i'll leave it linked above here now and obviously in the end card coming up make sure you go and check out that video that it's not I will say it's not the best uh, video. When it comes to pictures, nothing can beat the Huawei. When it comes to video, nothing's gonna beat that iPhone. That iPhone is incredible for video. There's no two ways about it. We move on to why I sent the phone back. Now, while I was there, everything come out, obviously to do with Donald Trump, the President of America, and everything that went on with Google, etc. Obviously, I'd just come, I'd just been actually down to the pool, and I was on Twitter, and everything was coming through. And I was like, I've only just got the device, I've hardly used it, what am I going to do? You know, the phone could be worth, literally worthless. And obviously checking it over like the next couple of days or so, I actually got screenshots from O2 Recycle. 
it was £475 to recycle it one day, it was £275 two days later. Within a day it was down to £100 they were offering to recycle the device. And then from there it went to literally you couldn't find the device on their site. So while I was over there I gave O2 a call, explained the situation, more than happy to sort help me out, get it all sorted. They accepted the fact that when I come back from America, I sent the phone back as long as there was no physical marks on it etc and it was in a case, it was all protected so there was no marks, no damage, I didn't end up using it after that once I'd done whatever I wanted to do with it I just didn't use it, I put it away in the bag and I left it alone it's such a shame because that phone is so so good now I've seen videos knocking about on YouTube saying that you can pick these devices up cheap I'll tell you now, you can't if you know of anywhere you can pick one of these up cheap by the way let me know in the comment section down below because believe me I want another one and the reason I want another one is the fact that if I can get one cheap enough it will be my second device so obviously I've got my primary which is my iPhone the Huawei P30 Pro will be the secondary device in my pocket and literally I will give up the Pixel 3 XL I will let the XL go to get the Huawei that's how much of a good phone it really is because nothing was touching this last year there was nothing coming close to this camera last year but even with the night sight mode that camera was just unbelievable and I kind of wish I would have took it on the Haunted Mansion with me instead of the Galaxy S10 Plus that I had if I can get one cheap enough I will get another one it will be my secondary device till the end of the year I don't think anything's touching that phone camera wise this year even with the new iPhone coming out it's going to be good but I don't think anything's going to touch that amazing camera that Huawei and Leica have put on the back of that device and obviously you know I would get another one in a heartbeat but it just wouldn't be on contract and I wouldn't pay over £500 for the device because you just never know in August what's going to happen but guys thank you so much for watching thanks for everything, thanks for the support I truly appreciate it if you liked this video drop a like if you loved it drop a sub and I'll see you guys in a couple of days take it easy and I'll see you all soon